it is repetition which makes for perfection. Hey, it's Eli K. Atlas, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the finale to the long-running series. I started uh, Spider-Man vs. Venom. There have been two pictures in the series, and this is the third and final one. Um, so, yeah, without further ado, shout out to VZA for hosting this video, as always, and uh, let's get into it. So when I started this series, um, the point of the, the, the highlight, the real star of the series, was not necessarily Spider-Man so much as it was Venom. And that's just because Venom is one of my favorite characters to draw. I've drawn him like maybe two or three times before. And I'm a big fan of him from the video games, Marvel vs. Capcom, and also, you know, the cartoon series back in the 90s. This, the whole series originally was just kind of a way for me to have an excuse to draw a cool fight scene, a chance for me to draw Spider-Man a little bit more, and uh, a chance to draw Venom as well. So for this particular picture, I didn't have a whole bunch of ideas going into it, but I knew I did want to train for the finale. I wanted to have a train somewhere in there, because I'm a big fan of the Spider-Man 2, the Sam Raimi version, and they had the whole Dr. Octopus fight scene. And whenever I think of Spider-Man, and I think of fight scenes, I always think of a train because of that movie. So I knew I had to have a train in the background, but um, did this, I had been drawing up to probably like 12 whole hours, it was something like 3 in the morning by the time I actually started on this, and the inspiration for it kind of just came out of nowhere. I had finished working on uh, a page for one of my clients, and um, I was still awake, I wasn't tired, my hands weren't fatigued, um, I have pretty superhuman hands in that way, I don't fatigue out easily, um, whereas my brother actually kind of has, you know, carpal tunnel and stuff like that, but uh, I was still ready to for, for some more action, so, um, I don't know, I just... I was playing a lot of PS4 Spider-Man also, so that might have had something to do with it. So I just wanted to draw Spider-Man, you know? So I pretty much picked up the pen and we kind of took it from there. Um, the first thing I do when I'm drawing Venom like this is I basically... It's kind of like negative space. And that's kind of how he gets that liquid look. I'm pretty much drawing around all of the things that I want to really highlight. And when I think of Spider-Man as well, um, maybe a credit to like McFarlane, Todd McFarlane, but I always like, I want him to have webs everywhere. So whenever I draw Spider-Man, I always, and you can see this in the rest of the pictures in the series, webs flying all around in the foreground, in the background. It's just kind of something that I think is very unique to Spider-Man, you know? Not many superheroes can say they shoot webs, so. When we get the chance, I always like to highlight his ability. And it's a great way to frame the picture as well. So I like to use the webs. And for this one, uh, the series up to this point has been Venom kind of ambushing Spider-Man. But in this one, I wanted to, since it was the last one, kind of wanted to have a little bit of a happier, um, more triumphant kind of look to it it still looks very powerful very big venom is still the star but i wanted spider-man to be on the offensive this time so him and venom are kind of throwing webs back and forth at each other here spider-man's kind of trying to get control of venom and uh, i'll talk more about that once we get to it but right now for venom uh the goal with venom when every time i draw venom since i started this series um i always think of him as just being huge, you know, just being a huge, sizable character. If he doesn't fit on the page, that's actually one of the goals. He just has to be so big, he's like bigger than Spider-Man in pretty much every way. So he has to be like just hulking, massive, tiny head, huge body, out of the frame, just huge bulging muscles, you know, very dynamic. So I did a little time lapse, a little bit of a skip here, and we'll get to Spider-Man. Um, I ran through a few versions of this pose until I found one that I really liked, and I didn't even wasn't even totally sold on this. Um, eventually, I kind of liked it as the picture progressed, but it's basically Spider-Man in a uh, doing a split right over Venom, 
or is he under Venom? We shall see as the picture progresses. But uh, one thing I learned from John Romita, I was watching an interview with him and Stan Lee, and uh, John Romita Jr. was also on there. Um, you can find that video on YouTube. You can probably just Google or uh, YouTube John Romita Stan Lee interview or something. But uh, he said, and that's a great tip of advice that I use whenever I draw Spider-Man. You, if you draw Spider-Man on the ground, you've wasted him. And that's basically, I don't know if I'm paraphrasing it or he said it that way exactly, but that was basically the gist of it. And I really took that to heart because Peter Parker is the one that's supposed to be, you know, regular. He's on the ground. He's powerless. He's a regular guy. Nothing, nothing impressive. So any chance he gets to be Spider-Man, he's not going to be on the ground. He's not going to be walking. He's going to be flying. He's going to be jumping. So anytime I draw Spider-Man, I like to make him as agile and as mobile as possible. So that basically uh, wraps it up. I did a little work with the background, which I didn't record, unfortunately, but um, it took a really long time, so I didn't have a lot of memory to do that on the card, um, but yeah, I'll have the finished picture at the end. You guys can leave your questions and your comments if you have any. Thanks again to VZA for hosting this video, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys like how it turned out. Uh, this was a really fun series to do. I'm, pr I'm thinking of, uh, you know, different characters to do more series with. I've done Scarlet Witch and uh, Zatanna. I've done Supergirl. I've done Spider-Man and Venom. So I'm always thinking of new characters and combinations and little stories to put together for different uh, image series like this. Uh, quick plug. Uh, this picture and the rest of the pictures in the series are definitely going to be on sale. So make sure you hit, make sure you guys hit me up. Um, on my YouTube channel or anywhere else that uh, I am. I'll have the links in the bottom. Probably VZA will as well. And uh, yeah, you can contact me if you guys are interested in owning these pieces physically in real life. Um, thank you again to VZA for hosting. Always appreciate it, the lookout. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you later.